Hi, I've came across an interesting derangement problem from the Cambridge textbook. Now for those who don't understand what a derangement is, please refer back to my derangement video. This is question 17 in the extension section of exercise 17F. It says, Bob is about to hang his eight shirts in the wardrobe. He has four different style of shirts, two identical ones of each particular style. How many different arrangements are possible if no two identical shirts are next to each other? Okay, let's solve this problem using the inclusion-exclusion principle. Step number one. So first of all, let's calculate the arrangement of eight shirts in a row without any restrictions. Now with no restrictions arranging eight items, we have eight factorial divided by the four pairs of identical shirts. Now in step number two, we keep out of the four pairs, we keep one pair unchanged. So first of all, we out of the four pairs, we need to choose one pair. So four choose one. And that one pair, we have to uh, treat that as one item. And then we have six remaining shirts to be arranged in a row. So therefore, we have seven items in total to be arranged in a row. So that's seven factorial ways. And then divided by the three repeated pairs. Now step number three is to keep two shirts on change with the parent. So out of four pairs, let's choose two pairs. And we are arranging six items in a row and then we have to divide by the two identical pairs. And in step number three, we're keeping three shirts unchanged with the pairs. So out of four pairs, we choose three. So we have three pairs with two individual shirts. So we are arranging five shirts in total. And we have to divide it by the two remaining individual shirts. And finally, in step number five, we are keeping four pairs of shirts with themselves. So that will be four, choose four, times four factorial ways. So after using our calculator, here are the number of arrangements for the individual case. So therefore, the total number of arrangements equals to no restrictions, subtract when you're keeping one shirt with its pair unchanged. Now keeping in mind that when you subtract one shirt with its pair unchanged, um, you're also subtracting in the situation where there are two shirts with the pairs unchanged. So since you subtracted um, this, you need to add this back. And when you add um, the situation where you have two shirts unchanged with the pairs, you're also adding um, three shirts unchanged with the pair. So this is double counter, so you have to subtract it. And when you subtract three, three shirts unchanged with the pairs, you're also subtracting the situation where you have four shirts unchanged with the pairs. So you actually need to um, add that back. So using this so doing this in our calculator, the final answer that we get is 864 ways.